Hi, welcome to the Soil Inventory Talk Show. My name is Grace Roiro, a farmer and an agronomist. I'm so glad that you had time and chance to be here with me today. I hope you learn a thing or two or enjoy this video. Karibu Nisana. So uh, today's video is about uh, the maze that we did at the beginning. I'll be putting the video up here so that you can see. We did some maize in a portion of land, but we were doing uh, totally, we were depending on the rains and we were using conservation agriculture method. So um, most of the farmers right now in Kenya know that uh, at some point the, uh, the rains uh, did fail and uh, that meant that most of the food or rather the crops that were in the field and they were independent got affected so we were not uh, any different so when we did the maize it was raining but after the maize had germinated um, the rains disappeared and so we would visit farms uh, that were doing some some weeding and we will we will see that the maize were really really affected like they in in quotes we'll say that they looked like onions because they they didn't look well uh for us for some period the the maize looked okay because conservation agriculture one of the things is it helps conserve moisture in the soil because remember it's minimum disturbance of the soil and so we will not expose our soil so much to the sun and so we'll have some moisture but it got some point and um the maize also looked like the onions but uh, so we decided not to to top dress because we had already done some foliar application we had already done we had already planted with um, fertilizer but we didn't see the need why would top dress and the rains had uh, fell so i uh, had failed uh after some time towards August, the rains were back and we didn't think the crop would recover. Surprisingly enough, you'll see in the, uh, shortly in the video as James, one of the agronomists, just explaining uh, and showing how the maize uh, did, though we did not top dress, we would say we are still hopeful. Enjoy the video. Karibuni. This is quite remarkable. Uh, this is CMAs we planted though late. Uh, after we planted, the crops germinated and emerged. Soon after, the rains went off. So this maize has grown with very minimal rain. And after seeing that, we uh, we also wanted to top dress, but due to the lack of rains, we also didn't top dress uh, as a result of uh, I mean, the lack of rains. But um, we gave up, we left the shamba, and now coming back to it, we see that the maize is doing quite well. So, I guess this is to show that conservation agriculture is a technology that will really help the farmer even when the rains are bad uh, they still stand a chance to get something so this is a shamba enye kuna top dressing meekoa apart from the planting fertilizer no other investment has been done here but the maize looking quite promising uh, according according to how the weather was to get such a crop I mean such a cob with that weather uh, to me that's to me that's a miracle. We thank God for this. We almost gave up but this has given us hope. Mm -hmm. This is ours. This is our maze and that's our neighbors. Our maze. So we are quite hopeful. Ah, uh, what? The was smart. I think next year we will do that. Next year? Huh? Ngali ama indi bwa. Hmm? Here you are. Huh? Here you are. This line. Till next time, remember to stay blessed and productive. Bye-bye.